Hi, it's Craig Dennis from Killick Engineering and we're just looking at uh, a machine we have down at Port Adelaide and how we track the belt. Now this is essentially like a steering wheel. If you move the uh, bearing block back towards the tail on one side, uh, it will force, if you move it back towards the tail on the left side of the conveyor, uh, it will drive the belt towards the left of the head pulley and obviously the other way uh, if you move it forward it heads to the right side. Uh, we measure from the square frame edge to the back of the bearing mount uh, and we adjust on both sides so that the distance on both sides is the same then we know for sure that the head is square. So we look at the uh, tail pulley and what we're checking for is clearance on either side of the pulley to make sure it's running central on that pulley. The pulley is crowned so the belt will normally want to wander to the centre. What we're looking for is that it's, that it's running square to those Kiwi wheels. So now we're up uh, at what we call the Kiwi wheels on uh, midway along the conveyor where the conveyor changes direction from horizontal and starts to lift the product uh, up towards the discharge chute. This is our second point of adjustment uh, for tracking the belt. What we're controlling here is how the belt feeds onto the top uh, head pulley and we'll just show you how we make the adjustment there. So what we have to make the adjustment uh, to the Kiwi wheels is the bearing is mounted on slotted holes so we can loosen and move uh, the shaft forward or backwards and this changes um, the way that the belt will feed onto the head pulley. Around the drive area of the conveyor we have two more areas that we can use to impact the tracking. What we're trying to do uh, in, in this case on the upper snub pulley, the one you see to the left, is really make sure that the belt is feeding onto the drive drum nice and square and with an even gap on both sides. This means the drive gets uh, maximum chance of engaging the belt, giving you uh, full power through the belt and conveyor system. The lower snub is really helping us ensure the feed to the tail pulley is also square. So that's where if we're um, making an, an adjustment to get that tail in working properly, uh, we do it at the lower snub. So there you have it. In summary, square everything up, then move from the tail of the belt through the carry section to the Kiwi wheels and then the head pulley. Then make adjustments through the drive section that is on the return leg of the belt. Again, the key is to make small adjustments. Run the belt and watch the tracking improve with each adjustment. Of course, if you need any help, the people of KE are always available to assist.